This is the Rita Cosby Show. The person who was leading the recall effort for George Gascon, I think is one of the great heroes out there because he's still working for George Gascon. He is Deputy DA Jonathan Hatami. And uh, Jonathan joins us now here on the Rita Cosby Show. Jonathan, how are you? I'm doing well, Rita, and thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much. You know, bravo to you, because you are still working for George Gascon. Um, where, first of all, where does the recall effort stand with him now? Because, of course, Chesa Boudin is going to have a vote tomorrow night. Um, that, that could be very telling. That could be foreboding for what's ahead for George Gascon. But where does your effort stand? I know you're close. So I anticipate that tomorrow Chesa Boudin will be recalled. I believe the citizens of San Francisco are going to rise up and are going to give Chesa Boudin the boot. And I want to let George Gascon know that he is next. He is next. We have less than 30 days to collect 566,000 signatures. Uh, we are very close to our goal. We, we need to work as hard as we can for this next 30 days and do everything we can. There's so many deputy district attorneys in my office. There are so many citizens. There's so many volunteers who have been dedicating their time, their effort, to trying to get George Gascon out of office. And we have a little bit less than 30 days to collect the signatures. But I do believe we are going to do it and we are going to get the recall on the ballot. Wow. And this is the second time, obviously, second effort to try to get it. How close are you now with signatures? We're very close. People need to understand that we have about 10 million people in L.A. County. There's about 5.5 million registered voters. We have to get 10 percent of the registered voters. So that's about 566,000 signatures. It's never been done in the history uh, of Los Angeles that we've been able to recall uh, a sitting district attorney. We are very close to that. We have over 500,000 signatures. We've sent out 3.1 million mailers to high propensity voters. And we do believe with that and with all the volunteers over the next month, we are going to uh, go over the threshold and get enough signatures uh, to get it on the ballot. But we still need everybody to work as hard as they can. Um, It's like in sports, this is the last leg. And everybody's got to put it in as much energy and effort they have left. They got they got to volunteer their time to get the signatures. You know, it's amazing, John Hatami, and I know you know this, in San Francisco, by the way, where George Gascon was before he came to L.A. First he ruined San Fran, and now he's ruining L.A. In uh, San Fran, obviously a huge Democratic base, just like L.A., and and yet the people are finally saying, enough. Um, is that sort of the sentiment, too, that you're getting, obviously, on the street to have already gotten 500,000? Are people just seeing so many of these cases over and over again where he is just making the worst decisions for community safety? I mean, I think that's what it is, Rita. J- just so you know and, the, and your listeners know, I'm a Democrat. I- I- I'm a Bobby Kennedy type of Democrat. I believe in fighting for the little person. I believe in law and order. I believe in public safety. I believe in being fiscally responsible. And I think there's a lot of people like me. I don't. I think my party has left me. My party has left a lot of people. Um, uh, they've kind of gone way left, and you know, my party has left me. And so, really, I believe that many people believe in doing the right thing. I believe in that. Um, I believe that I don't. I don't fight for the party. I fight for the people. I'm not a district attorney for the party. I'm a district attorney for everybody. And so, I think people in San Francisco have had enough of these progressive policies. I think people in Los Angeles have had enough of these progressive policies. They're not helping people. They're not helping people of color. Um, they're not helping victims. They're not helping children. Um, basically, they're, they're turning our cities into a disaster. Um, if there's chaos and there's mayhem, both in Los Angeles and in San Francisco. Um, we have a major unhoused issue. We have a major crime issue. Um, we have a 15-year high in homicides. We have smash and grab burglaries. We have follow-home robberies. Robberies with firearms have skyrocketed. Uh, We have people that believe that, you know, that you shouldn't prosecute felons in possession of firearms. We need to enforce the laws that we have regarding firearms, and and no one has done that. So I believe a lot of individuals, Rita, here in Los Angeles and in San Francisco, have clearly had enough of the progressive policies 
of my party, and they've had enough of people not caring for others, and we're fighting back. And I, I believe that, that Chesa Boudin is going to be recalled, and I believe that George Gascon is going to be recalled, and we need some more reasonable individuals in leadership, not people who are so partisan. Yeah, 1,000%. I agree with you. And everybody, we're talking to Deputy DA in Los Angeles, John Hatami, who works under very progressive George Gascon, who could be next after tomorrow night. Um, I want to ask you about this latest case, uh, John, because this is amazing that um, here is this juvenile, 16 years old, um, and I'm sure you've seen the video where he just plows over a mother and child, keeps going, by the way. It was a hit and run. And if it wasn't for a good Samaritan in a truck who tried to, like, warn him off and stopped him, he would have kept going. Um, Luckily, they caught the guy. Turns out he has a history of another felony. And the punishment that George Gascon gives them is five months in juvie camp. Um, What is juvie camp? It It sounds, sadly, pretty light. It, it, this is horrendous because people have to remember this was an innocent mom just walking down the street with her eight month old baby in a stroller. Um, they, they, these were, this was an innocent mom and an innocent baby. Somebody purposely ran over them, ran over them. And George Gascon thinks it's more important to coddle this 16 year old who, who stole a car, who ran over a mom and a baby who was on probation for spiking a 16-year-old girl's drink. Um, And George Gaston thinks it's more important to coddle that person than to fight for the rights of this mom and this baby. That is horrendous for the elected district attorney. The district attorney is supposed to fight for victims, supposed to follow the law, and supposed to make sure that the public is safe. This person is going to do five months. They're going to get out, Rita, um, with, with a prior for spiking a 16-year-old girl's drink, for another prior for running over a mom and an eight-month-old baby, no accountability, no responsibility. And you know what he's going to do? He's going to hurt somebody else. And camp is sort of a little bit higher than YMCA. Um, it's not uh, juvenile hall. Um, it's not um, – it, it, there's, there's a lot of um, – you know, it's not that difficult in camp, and it's not really punishment. And definitely not punishment for somebody who commits a violent crime. Now, I'm not saying all juveniles don't deserve to go to camp. There are a lot of juveniles that will be helped with camp, but not this juvenile. Um, and so uh, it, what's going to happen, he's, he's going to get out uh, from this YMCA type of camp. He's going to feel like he's able to do whatever he wants, no accountability, no responsibility, and we all know he's going to hurt somebody else. And George Gascon just doesn't care. How sad is that? And again, we've also heard from, like, the mother – who said, you know, that her baby absolutely would have died if she didn't grab the baby and try to protect the baby, and she is outraged. Um, real quick before I let you go, this isn't the first time. I mean, who's what was? I remember we had you on, John, and it was the guy. It was an inmate who wanted to what get George Gascon's like face tattooed uh, 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 on his face. Remember, uh, because he said that guy's a hero. He let me out early, you know. People don't realize that the the elected DA, when he stands up and tells everybody that he's not going to prosecute crime, that he's going to release individuals early, people feel like they're not going to be held accountable for their actions. So we have individuals who want to tattoo the elected DA's name on their face. We have individuals who are toasting the DA, murderers, because they believe they're going to get released early. We have juveniles that are committing crimes. We have 26-year-old individuals who are molesting and sexually assaulting 10-year-old girls and only getting uh, months to years uh, in a juvenile facility. I mean, so we have chaos here in Los Angeles. Basically, we have serious and violent felons who are doing serious damage to innocent victims, and they're not being punished or held accountable for their actions. And it all comes down to George Gascon and his blanket policies which absolutely do nothing to help public safety or help the citizens of Los Angeles. Well, bravo for you for caring about the citizens and safety first and foremost. I wish you so much luck. We're going to be watching, of course, to see what happens tomorrow with uh, the San Francisco DA, Chesa Boudin. And let's hope George Gascon is next. And uh, we got to have you back on again soon, John. Thank you so much for all you do to keep all of us safe. Thank you. Thank you, Rita. Thank you so much for having me.